So it's been a minute. By a minute, I mean like two years. Um, I've been in a pretty shit way. And if I was better at communicating things, you would know that. But, uh... I don't know how to I don't know how to really go about talking about this. I effectively have I, I effectively have an illness. It's chronic now, and that two-year period, a lot of that was not sort of getting that under control really, because it just wasn't. Uh, it's it's an inflammatory bowel disease, an ulcerative colitis. You may or may not have heard of it. It's a cousin of Kron's. I don't remember what I have and haven't done. Actually, you know what? You might notice that this is uh, a higher resolution than it was before because it's on the Switch version. I did, in the meantime, at least get a save file back to around where I was at. Not super great. Wait, what do you want? Uh, oh, wait, it's a race. Do I get something for racing? I don't fucking remember anything. I remember literally... Okay, guess I'm racing him then. But, yeah, so, um, round about two years ago, just things started failing in a terrible and spectacular way. Am I even going the right way? Probably not. Uh, and there was some bleeding involved, there was some diarrhea involved, there was some diarrhea with, ble diarrhea with bleeding involved. Uh, and a lot, a lot of pain. Just, it used, I used to be, uh, my life used to be, hey, do I go to sleep today or do I record today, do I do work today? And that all, there was just no time for anything because I was waking up every, every 30 minutes at night because I had to pass blood. That was just building up. And so obviously I went to go see some doctors and they all said different things. Well, they all said different causes for the same thing, which is uh, the test that I had done shown that there was some inflammation in there. The question is, what ca was causing that inflammation? The... I... Hearing that, okay, so I was like, okay, so I looked up inflammation, bowel, what the shit does that even mean? And the two results I got were inflammatory bowel disease, which is fairly rare, and cancer, which is... Um, no, I don't want that. I'd rather take the chronic disease. And lucky me, I ended up with the chronic disease. I think I need the digging power for that. But, uh, this was about two months into my symptoms. Doctor saying, okay, we've known that you've had inflammation for like a month and a half now. Um, in order to confirm what it is, you're going to need to get a colonoscopy. So we need to refer you to a gastroenterologist. I'm like, okay, cool. And then a month later, I heard nothing. So I called him, it's like, well, actually, I just went over there, it's like, what the shit were, do we talked about getting me an appointment to see a gastroenterologist. It's like, oh, um, yeah, those tests you did before, those were, those were in your hometown, this is a different town that, uh, you're here, um, that I was going to school for. So we need to do all those tests over again, otherwise we won't be able to get you anything. I'm like, okay, fine. So I did the tests again, and then they're like, also, oh, we also need to check for, uh, what's gluten intolerant, celiac disease, and lactose intolerance, because those can, in severe cases, give you the same court of having to pass blood 20 times a day symptoms and just endless pain in your gut. So I'm like, okay, cool. I really don't want to give up bread and cheese. So what's, but you know, let's see what's going on with that. Those came up negative, which is... Eh, I mean, overall, it would have been it would have been a better si situation to be in. But on a personal level, I didn't want to give those things up, so I won and lost at the same time. Uh, oh yeah, I do have the water power. I really don't remember anything about what I was doing. Oh, that's right. I need to collect the beads. Eventually, eventually, I'll be. I'll have- oh, I didn't want to pick you up, I wanted to bite. I, I didn't- I wanted to dig, I wanted to dig, rather. And they're like, okay, so... Now it's three months since I started shitting blood. I'll just say that, I've been sh I was shitting blood for three months. And, uh, I get a call 
from the doctor I was seeing saying, oh hey, great, great news. Uh, we got you referred to a gastroenterologist. I'm like, great. It's been, it's been three months since, you know, um, I started dying in real time. Uh, but at least I can see what's going on now. Yeah, uh, the waiting period, uh, you're on the wait list, semi-urgent, uh, you're gonna have to wait, uh, 12 to 14 months before you can set an appointment. And I'm like, excuse me? What? Why did you sound happy that it was going to take that long? 12 to 14 months isn't a good thing in the state that I'm in right now. I've lost... I'm- I've lost 30 pounds over the last week. Uh, over the last month, rather. And you're telling me that it's- that I have to wait another 12 months. Uh, the excessive weight loss towards the end was mostly because as time went on, the- the shit was accelerating. Because there was more and more inflammation, and shit was going worse and worse, and I was getting worse and worse. And I have to set an arrow on fire. Uh, hold on, hold on. Eh, 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 yeah. So this is, this is basically like, um, a, lo a recreation of what was going on in my colon for four months until, uh, well, for three months at that point. That, that's about every, that's, a, that was about every second of my life. So, at that point, my dad's like, okay, fuck this. We're taking you to the emergency room. The system has failed. And I'm like, okay, I'll be back for my reading break, which is in another three weeks. Uh, in the meantime, I've been prescribed another elimination diet to see maybe it's a food sensitivity. And it couldn't hurt to try. That was a fault. That was a lie, by the way. It absolutely hurt a lot to try. I started to get faint, and if I had to dri drive back for like two hours with an hour and a half ferry ride in the middle, getting home was going to be a problem. Where the- there, um, did I- did I fuck this up? I seem to- I can't- where, where the hell is it? There's supposed to be more of these things. Ah! Ah! You're open. This light- that lighting was really bad and made hard to see where I was going. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's another bead in this direction. I'm basically working on extremely old memory right now. Oh, I think I can- I think I'm landing on this island? Or this rock formation? Uh, I've got infinity stones, so I can make that work. But yeah, so... Well, I got home. Barely. Uh, almost passed out while driving, because just all, just everything's gone, everything is, everything that has gone, could have gone wrong, had gone wrong at that point, in terms of my condition, so, and I guess this is a parcel explanation of why I just fucking disappeared, is cause there were things that needed to be dealt with, and they essentially need to be dealt with because a big sort of long-term risk of ulcerative colitis is really high chance of colon cancer moving forward, so you need to get that shit taken care of right away because if you don't, your options become get ca uh, get cancer or get your colon removed. Like, just the whole thing, and then you gotta shit through a bag, and then maybe they can fasten your small intestine into a makeshift colon, in which case you can't have colitis if you don't have a cold. Anyways. This is- this is a long story, but that's because it's took a long time. Uh, I think- I think that's it. I think I'm- I think I'm good here. I think that's it. I think I found everything I needed to find. By find, I mean made my way to the end. Yes, I did. So... I go- I get to the hospital, I go to the emergency, and they're like, Okay, what's your story? So, I I basically told them everything up to this point, except in far more detail, because... And I'm... I'm having trouble just keeping my head up at this point. So, they actually see me right away, which is great, 
because I was not in the mood or any kind of condition to wait for full, to wait for like eight hours in, oh, I, there it is, to wait for like eight hours in a Canadian emergency room just to, you know, see a gastroenterologist. And then, basically, to do a bunch of extra testing, because, you know, you can't have, can't have enough tests done. Can't, can't, cannot possibly have enough tests done, except for the one test that I actually need, which is the colonoscopy. Because, even if it's basically a known fact that you have inflammatory bowel disease, they can't actually diagnose or treat you until you've, until they've seen inside. So... Do some more tests, I get a CT scan, get an ultrasound, they're like, okay, just wait outside, our gastroenterologist is on call, and he'll be here in a couple hours because I had to get there on Saturday because that's when I got home. And they're like, yeah, okay, it's probably colitis, but, and we're gonna, we're gonna pres prescribe you a steroid, but we can't do that until you, until we see, actually see inside there. I'm like, great, when is that? Uh, I can do Wednesday. I was gonna go back to school on Wednesday, but fuck it, I can skip a day. So, I, they're like, okay, so you're gonna have to go to the pharmacy and get this, get this stuff. What, what is this stuff? This stuff was a four gallon jug of laxatives. Because I needed to be clear. Just. And I ended up getting clearer than I ever have before. It was, it's like, the, the actual lack.